Hey, Scott. Okay, so I wanted to... My pictures never do anything justice. So I wanted to actually show you this watch in a, in a way that you could actually get a look at the quality and the condition of it. Uh, this is a... This is my 62 MAS. Uh, it is from uh, June 1967. It's entirely, completely, and totally original. Um, it is, uh, it's in quite good condition and has a few little moisture bits. Um, and the surface of the dial is ever so slightly hazy, a little milky, the top clear coat. So you've got a few of the, like there, you've got the little black spot there little bit of patina, but it's got, this is all the correct original green Dany Lou. Uh, the tops of the markers are, are excellent. Uh, one of the greatest things is that the case is unpolished. That's really rare to see. You just don't see that very often. That's the original case finish. So yeah, it's got its, its wear marks and everything, but it's not, this hasn't been prettified. This thing is not a lie. Uh, I just put a brand new crystal in it actually yesterday because the other crystal that I had in it was, um, was actually kind of scratched up and there's something about it I didn't like. The profile was slightly wrong on that one and this is the actual correct crystal it's supposed to have. Watch has been fully serviced. Of course I went and through and did everything on this watch to the best of my abilities. It's got all new seals. I've rebuilt the crown. Isn't that something? What a lovely watch. I'm an idiot. I don't know, but we'll see. I'll talk to you more about it and we'll go from there. But woof. Anyway, but that's what good looks like. Yeah, I have to say this is probably the best. This is the best 62 MAS I, I've ever owned, and I've owned a, not a good number of them. I don't know, five I think. But it's been a long time that I since I owned one before this, and this is the nicest one of all of them that I ever owned. Okay, so let's talk some more. Anyway, there you go. Thank you.